dear students i shall continue my discussion on the next topic of uh, vector uh, subspace vector space and vector subspace the next uh, discussion is on the title that is a uh, linear combination of vectors linear combination of vectors uh, takes the definition uh, we define uh, different vectors and then we will take linear combination of these vectors followed by some scalars under this heading the euclidean space also the concept of euclidean space that is n space we are going to include as a standard basis of the vectors then standard basis vectors for uh, the region which contains n number of values will be defined in the in the form of e1 e2 e3 e4 e e5 and so on that is in terms of those uh, numbers as first number for e1 as 1 and uh, all the forthcoming numbers as 0 and for second uh, uh, definition that is e2 that first number is 0 second number as 1 and all the forthcoming numbers as 0 similarly for en that is for the under the euclidean n space concept that is uh, 0 0 0 and so on and the last number is 1 how the linear combination definition takes place that uh, i shall introduce on the first definition of linear combination of vectors various vectors under the consideration okay the title uh, title of the talk is uh, linear combination the vectors of the vectors v1 v2 and so on vn in the vector space v with scalars c1 c2 and cn respectively that means c1 for v1 c2 for v2 and cn for vn under this how the linear combination equation that we are going to write i shall explain no Uh, with reference to with reference to euclidean space euclidean n space because n number of values we are considering we can consider the standard basis vectors standard basis vectors as in that is the region of n number of values the region of n number of values means e1 z equal to 1 0 0 0 and up to nth value that is 0 next e2 is equal to 0 second number is 1 and 0 up to 0 e3 that is third number is 1 that is 0 0 1 and up to 0 and so on that is en this is the basis 0 0 0 and so on this is 1 then then we choose v is equal to v1 v2 as the vector that means uh, these are the values of the vector vector space v3 up to vn such that with these uh, basis values v is a linear combination that is v1 e1 v2 e2 plus v3 e3 and so on plus of vn that is en where v is the linear combination that means this equation you can call it as 1 this as a v is the linear combination linear combination of vectors what are the vectors we have chosen that is these values of the vectors v1 vn 
with the basis E1, E2 and so on up to En. This is the linear combination definition. That means, in the Euclidean n space, we define E1, E2, E3, En in this order. That means, diagonal elements as 1, 1, diagonal elements as 1, 1. Then, for vector, we consider that is V1, V2, V3 and so on are the various vectors. Then, V is the vector space that is taking the linear combination C1, E1 plus uh, uh, C2. <coughs> Uh, that is C1, C, uh, V1, it is V1, E1 plus V2, E2 plus V3, E3 up to Vn, En. That means, linear combination uh, is that instead of these values, these values we can also consider as scalars. Then this equation is supposed to be the linear combination in terms of given vectors. Now, so what we do here uh, using this definition how we are going to say that uh, V is a vector space. Let us take an example of this and how that is going to be proved, that concept is going to be proved, we will verify with various numerical values in the form of a matrix. Example 1, determine, determine if the vector is a linear combination. if the vector is a linear combination if the vector is a linear combination of the two given vectors of the two given vectors when a first question is w is equal to minus 12 comma 20 linear combination linear combination of u1 is equal to minus 1 comma 2 and u2 is equal to 4 comma minus 6 this is first one and second one that is e is w is equal to 4 comma 20 4 comma 20 a linear combination a linear combination of u1 is equal to that is 4 comma 20 4 comma 20, uh, sorry 2 comma 20 this is u1 and u2 that is minus 3 comma minus 15 minus 3 comma minus 15 this is second question and third question for the same statement is is w is w equal to 1 comma minus 4 a linear combination a linear combination of the first vector that is u1 is equal to 2 comma 10 and the second vector that is u2 is equal to minus 3 comma minus 15 that is 2 comma 20 minus 3 comma minus 15 and this is 2 comma 10 and minus 3 comma minus 15 but these three questions will make a clear difference in giving the answers what are the values of the constants what are the values of the constants means c1 and c2 because you you are given two vectors here you are given two vectors means you have to write a linear combination of the equation here also you are given two vectors u1 and u2 then you need to write a linear combination followed by two scalars that means two scalars means c1 and c2 and third question is that is also followed by two vectors and you have to write uh, two uh, scalars as C1 and C2. Okay. Let us verify how these uh, uh, calculations in the system of linear equations will fall uh, followed by the given numericals. Now, in the solution of the first question, uh, 
that is the answer for the first question. First we define uh, that as a linear combination of the vectors. Okay. So let W first question let W equal to C1 U1 plus C2 U2. So what is given here in the first question the uh, uh, required data is W should be in the left side this is this is the quantity as a linear combination of the vectors. Okay. Then what is the behavior of W when uh, these two vectors u1 and u2 are given with the numericals. Okay. So let us attach these two as scalars uh, c1 is the scalar for u1 and c2 is the scalar for u2. Next w is equal to what? w is equal to that is given first question minus 12 and uh, it is 20. So minus 12 and 20 is equal to c1 into that is u1, u1 means minus 1 that is comma 2 and plus of this is uh, uh, c1 into u1 plus of c2 into u2 that is 4 comma minus of 6. Okay. So this is a linear combination of the equation uh, we have followed according to the given two vectors and two scalars we have attached. Okay. So now you take uh, c1 and c2 the first uh, term uh, combination and second term combination as c1 and c2 you have to construct two linear equations. So first linear equation is followed by uh, c1 is multiplied by minus 1 and c2 is multiplied by 4. So you will get as a result of uh, separation and comparison you will get two equations therefore minus 12 comma 20 that is equal to minus c1 and uh, minus c1 uh, that is minus 1 into c1 and plus of 4 times c2 and plus of plus of 2 c1 this is in the brackets but you have to write as a summation right that is uh, 2 c1 and minus of 6 uh, it is c2 therefore you can write in the brackets that is minus c1 plus 4 c2 in the first bracket and plus of 2 c1 and minus of 6 c2 in the second bracket that is in the left side minus 12 comma it is 20 minus 12 comma 20 can be compared with this. Now we equate the first coefficient with the first term on the right side and second coefficient that is 20 with the second bracket on the RHS. Therefore we consider these two uh, for set of two linear uh, equations set of two linear equations means what that means two e linear equations or two simultaneous equations you have to follow two simultaneous equations when I compare that means you can write first term with the first term on the right side first term in the left uh, sorry first numerical value first term on the right side second numerical value and the second uh, a term on the right side. So you will get two system of linear equations in terms of C1 and C2. Okay. So what I will do now comparing, comparing on both sides, comparing on both sides uh, with the equations. With equations means what? The first term minus C1 uh, plus 4 C2 is equal to minus 12 this is one equation another equation is 2 c1 minus 6 c2 is equal to 20 so this has to be solved this has to be solved means you have to find out the values of c1 and c2 you have to solve two equations uh, for getting c1 and c2 with the usual procedure what is the usual procedure you have to solve for c1 and c2 by making the coefficient same Okay. By making the coefficient same otherwise you can divide uh, the second equation by 2 you will get C1 and C2, uh, uh, C1 uh, with the coefficient same. Okay. So what I will do now here this is multiplied by 2 if I do this is one possibility multiplied by 2 and second possibility divide by 2 for the second one because all the three numbers are even numbers you can also divide uh, like that you will be getting. Okay. So what is the procedure you are getting? The next step simplification that is minus of 2 c1 
and plus of it is 2 C 2 is equal to uh, throughout your multiplying by 2 that is equal to minus 24. In the second equation 2 C 1 minus of 6 C 2 is equal to 20. So, this is the uh, result after the multiplication. Now, what I will do? I will cancel this on addition. Addition means because this is minus sign and this is plus sign. Addition means minus of 4 C 2, addition means equal to minus 4. Therefore, C 2 is equal to minus 1. Then C 2 is equal to minus 1 means from this equation I can calculate that is C 2 means minus C 1 and minus of it is C 2 minus C 1 and minus C 2 is equal to minus 12. What is uh, sorry minus C 2 means minus 1 it is this one. So, minus 1 then minus C 1 is equal to this is 11 okay. minus C 1 is equal to this becomes minus 1 becomes on the right side as plus 1 minus 12 plus 1 uh, is equal to minus 11 therefore C 1 is equal to 11. So, C 1 is equal to 11 means and C 2 is equal to minus 1 those two numbers uh, will uh, will give that means uh, both the numbers are non-zero numbers. Then what is your conclusion regarding the linear combination that means both the numbers are going to exist. Okay. Then uh, you can compare uh, for, for these calculations and the conclusion you can uh, you can give that you can give that what are the values of C 1 and C 2 therefore, W is a linear combination is a linear combination of linear combination of u1 and u2 therefore w is equal to w is equal to first number what is that first number c1 that is c1 u1 c1 is 11 that is 11 u1 and c2 is minus 1 that is minus u2 so, this is the linear combination equation for the first question. Now, the second question which you have to answer same type you have to write as a linear combination of two given vectors. Now, the answer for the second question define W is equal to C 1 U 1 plus C 2 it is U 2. Therefore, C 1 W in the left side for the second question is given 4 and 20 this is 4 comma 20 that I will take it as C 1 into what that is U 1 plus C 2 it is U 2 C 1 into here for the second question U 1 is 2 comma 20 this is 2 comma 20 plus of C 2 this is minus 3 comma minus 15 then you can write it as 2 times C 1. Okay minus of 3 times C 2 in the first bracket plus of 20 times C 1 and minus of 50 times 15 times it is C 2. This is in the left side that is given as 4 comma 20. So, 4 comma 20 that you have to solve this is the second question what are the values of C 1 and C 2 that we are going to work out. So, that W will become a linear combination of that is U 1 and U 2. Okay. So, uh, we are going to compare on both sides we can write comparing on both sides comparing on both sides we get comparing on both sides we get that is 4 can be compared with the first term 20 can be compared with the second term that should be 2 C 1 minus of 3 C 2 that is equal to 4 and second equation 20 C 1 minus of 15 C 2 uh, that is equal to 20. Now, here uh, you can also uh, make the coefficient one of the coefficients uh, same then you can uh, write that is uh, 
cancellation and then of, uh, you can calculate the values of the constant C1 and C2, then you can declare or you can discuss about the relation between the values of C1 and C2. Okay. Here 2 C1 is there, here 20 is there, here C2 is multiplied by 3 is there 15, any one you can make the same coefficient. Here let me take uh, the second chance, second uh, value chance that is 15 I want to make it as similar multiplied by 5, this is one option. Another option is 10 if you multiply you will become, you will get uh, uh, 20 and 20 so that you can cancel. Okay. So, with this equation I am going to get it as 2 into 5 that is 10 C1, 3 into 5 minus 15 C2, 4 into 5 that is 20. I want to make a second coefficient same that is 20 C1 minus 15 C2 that is equal to 20. Now, what is this? What is this? This cancels and here 10 what you are going to add subtract. Subtract means uh, you can write minus of 10 C1 is equal to 0. Minus of 10 C1 that is equal to 0 means when you subtract this 20 minus of 20. So, 20 minus of 20 means this becomes 0. This clearly indicates C1 is equal to 0. So, C1 is equal to 0 means here C1 is equal to 0, then C2 is equal to that is any one equation C1 equal to uh, 0, 10 C1 you are getting 10 C1 is equal to 0, <coughs> then C1 is equal to 0, put this C1 in any one of the equations. Therefore, minus 3 C2 here this one is equal to 4, minus 3 C2 is equal to 4 means that is C2 is equal to minus of it is 4 by 3, minus of 4 by 3 then C1 equal to 0 and C2 is equal to minus 4 by 3. Therefore, uh, linear combination that is W is equal to C1 U1 plus C2 it is U2. Then you can expect from the second question that is uh, 4 and uh, 20 you can expect uh, that should be like uh, one is 4 and the other one is 20. So, that is equal to C1 it is 0 then uh, U1 and plus C2 that is minus of 4 by 3 that is U2. This is uh, C1 is 0 that you can avoid and C1 is equal to in terms of T. So, let C1 is equal to T uh, in place of in place of 0. Therefore, for the existence of C1 we will take some parameter that is 0 is equal to T. Then from the same equation that is from the first equation that is uh, uh, 2 C1 minus 3 C2 is equal to 4. So, what value you are getting there? What value? Then in terms of uh, uh, T you are getting that should be 2 times C1 is T and uh, minus 4 this is equal to 3 C2. Therefore, C2 is equal to 3 by 2 T and minus 4 divided by 3 this much. Okay. Uh, C2 is equal to sorry 2 by 3 this one 2 by 3 this 3 comes here multiplied by T and 4 divided by 3 is there. Therefore, this is the value. Then therefore, W is equal to C1 U1 plus C2 <coughs> U2. C2 U2 and C1 we are taking it as T that is U1 and plus of 2 by 3 T minus 4 by 3 that is nothing but that is nothing but multiplied by U2. So, this is W is a linear combination of that is C1 U1 plus C2 U2. To show the presence of that C1 is not 0, then linear combination of the given vectors we can write after the calculation of C1 C2 in this form. Now, the answer for the uh, next question that is uh, third question, whatever W is given in the left side and whatever C1 and C2 are 
are to be calculated along with u1 and u2. So define w is equal to c1 u1 plus c2 u2 such that such that what is w is given that is 1 comma minus 4 in the left side that is w is given equal to c1 into u1 is 2 comma 10 u1 is 2 comma 10 plus of it is c2 minus 3 comma minus 15 then you can write this one as 2 times of c1 minus 3 times of it is c2 this is in the first bracket and plus of 10 times c1 minus 15 times of c2 in the second bracket in the left side 1 comma it is minus of 4 then we solve for c1 and c2 we solve for c1 and c2 after calculating uh, the values of c1 and c2 by solving these two linear equations so c1 and c2 we call them as linear equations why because c1 is with the degree as 1 and c2 uh, with the degree as 1 therefore both are with the degree as 1 we call them as both the equations as linear equations then we calculate uh, by solving these two equations by choosing the first equation as c1 2 c1 minus uh, 3 times uh, c2 is equal to 1 and uh, 10 c1 and minus of 15 c2 uh, that is equal to that is equal to minus 4 therefore these two equations are said to be linear as a uh, uh, first degree of c1 and first degree of c2 therefore 2 c1 minus 3 c2 is equal to first number in the left side that is equal to 1 and 10 c1 minus of 15 c2 that is equal to 4 now i shall make uh, the coefficient same once again uh, by phi if i multiply that is phi 3 is a 15 and phi 2 is a 10 that is multiplied by phi once again i am choosing by the same multiplication to make the coefficient same therefore uh, 2 c1 means it is 10 c1 minus of that is 3 15 it is c2 is equal to 5 then 10 c1 minus 15 c2 that is equal to minus 4 now if when you solve these two equations because both the equations are same so both the equations are same means here the solution you must uh, think of in the form of uh, uh, x equal to some value where y is equal to some value in place c1 is equal to what value and c2 is equal to what value that means uh, when when you have same equations the answer comes to be with uh, the parameter that is t which takes with the various values therefore both the equations are same we get c1 that is equal to anyway uh, 0 and c2 is equal to 0 when you solve like this that means these two will cancel and these two will cancel that means 5 minus 4 when you subtract 5 minus 4 is equal to 9 therefore this is uh, like uh, 0 you are getting in the left side 0 is not equal to 9 so 0 is not equal to 9 means this contradicts our assumption where 0 cannot be taken so that uh, here in this case c1 and c2 cannot be calculated what is your conclusion then uh, for the answer for the third question that means you cannot write the linear combination with these values here here for 0 is not equal to 9 0 is not equal to 9 such that such that w is equal to c1 u1 plus c2 u2 is not a linear combination not a linear combination not a linear combination of the given vectors what are the vectors given vectors given vectors u1 is equal to 2 comma 10 and u2 is equal to minus 3 comma minus 15 that means this is not a linear combination for the given vectors since uh, the equations both the equations are same 
then if you choose C1 is equal to 0 and if you choose C2 is equal to 0, that is 0 plus 0 is equal to 0, 0 is not equal to 9. Therefore, uh, yeah, this, can, this cannot be accepted, thereby this is not a linear combination of the given two vectors. Then we shall move on to the next uh, discussion in this. <coughs> For uh, uh, the vector subspace, the next definition because these three problems uh, instead of taking separately, I have put in one uh, statement as a three problems. Now, let me take uh, the next definition according to this vector space, the span of the vectors. span of the vectors. What is the span of the vectors? This is an algebraic property where it defines on the vector space. I shall explain this. Let S yes, is equal to u1, u2, u3 and so on, un be the set of vectors, be the set of vectors in a vector space, in a vector space u, in a vector space u and define and define w be the set of all, set of all linear combinations of the vectors as we discussed there linear combination of vectors of vectors then then the set w then the set w is the span is the span of the vectors span of the vectors u1 u2 and so on up to un and it is it is denoted by the span symbol is denoted within the flower brackets and uh, inside that the for the given reference of the vectors and it is denoted by w is equal to span of S because S is the set of vectors, W is that. Otherwise, W is equal to span of in the floor bracket I have to represent this one U1, U2 because S is set of U, these vectors and U3 and so on up to Un. So, any one of these notations we will define for the span of W, the span of the vector for W. W is a set of linear combination of all the possible vectors which are given like U1, U2, U3 up to Un. So, based on this, there is one uh, uh, theorem is to be proved. Uh, what are the uh, outcomes of this uh, span of the given set of vectors and how it is to be proved? Uh, later, I shall take the example to prove this concept. Okay. So now, what is that theorem and uh, statement and uh, that particular proof we have to discuss in a form of linear combinations of the given set of vectors. Okay. There is one theorem on this. That theorem statement goes like this. Let u1, comma u2 and so on up to un be the set of vectors, be the set of vectors in a vector space in a vector space in a vector space u and their span and the span will be w is equal to w is equal to span in the flower brackets that is u1, u2 and so on up to un. Then we have to prove the first result w is a subspace of u, 
subspace of u and uh, subspace of the vector space capital U and the second uh, result to be proved W is the smallest subspace, smallest subspace, W is the smallest uh, subspace of U, the vector space that contains that contains all of the vectors that contains all of the vectors all of the vectors u1 u2 and so on up to un this is the statement of the theorem now we have to take the discussion on the proof in order to prove these two results the first one a here to prove the first one we consider the uh, it is the uh, w is closest under addition and scalar multiplication okay let the first claim let w uh, is closed under addition we claim this one first under vector addition vector addition and and scalar multiplication vector addition and scalar multiplication okay so then to prove this uh, we consider uh, uh, vectors and then we write that addition is to be proved and scalar multiplication is also to be proved okay so let c1 c2 and so on cn as scalars as scalars for the set of vectors set of vectors u1 u2 and so on up to un in the vector space u and and k1 k2 up to so on kn for u1 comma u2 and so on up to u un in w such that such that <coughs> w u is equal to such that c1 u1 plus c2 u2 plus so on plus of cn it is un plus of cn un uh, that is linear combination of the vectors followed by the scalars and w is equal to that is k1 u1 plus k2 because we have to prove two conditions that is vector addition and uh, scalar multiplication to say that uh, the uh, theorem first part is to be proved okay that is k2 u2 plus so on plus of that is uh, kn that is w uh, sorry k n and u n then addition we take let u plus w is equal to u plus w is equal to that is c 1 u 1 plus c 2 u 2 plus so on plus of it is c n u n in the first bracket and plus of that is k 1 uh, u1 plus k2 u2 k2 u2 plus so on plus of kn it is un then this is equal to that is c1 plus of what is that k1 that is c1 is the scalar of this series of vectors and k1 k2 k3 are the scalars for the second series from the first series c1 the first term i am taking and u1 i'll write it as a common coefficient then c1 plus k1 that is u1 plus c2 plus k2 that is u2 and plus c3 plus k3 that is u3 plus so on plus of cn plus kn multiplied by that is un left side is u plus w 
this is u plus w not w plus w it is u plus w then the sum the first question which we are going to answer that is linear combination of these two vectors then the sum then the sum u plus w is a linear combination is a linear combination u plus w is a linear combination of the vectors of the vectors that is u1 comma u2 and so on up to un this clearly implies w is closed is closed under addition is closed under addition is closed under addition means there are two vectors addition followed by the scalars so this is one property and next property is that is scalar multiplication what is that scalar multiplication now you can uh, you can take that sum k into u otherwise let k be the scalar k be the scalar scalar such that such that k into u if you take that is k into c1 that is u1 and k into c2 u2 k into c3 that is u3 plus so on plus so on plus of k into cn that is un then you can write it as then you can write it as that is k into uh, k into c1 is a scalar quantity that is u1 and k into c2 is a scalar quantity and u2 plus so on plus of k into cn is a scalar quantity that is un that is k into u that means this condition also that is scalar multiplication also holds good this implies scalar multiplication scalar multiplication also holds good scalar multiplication also holds good then what we claim here there are two conditions that means one is vector addition and scalar multiplication this is also uh, hold good that means for both it is hold good means w is this clearly indicates w is closed under w is closed under addition addition and scalar multiplication w is closed under uh, vector addition and scalar multiplication so this is the first part of the theorem that we have proved now the second part uh, also to be proved what is the behavior of this uh, uh, scalar multiplication and vector addition with respect to the second question okay so now that b part w is the smallest vector space assume this is the answer for the second part of the theorem uh, assume that w is the smallest subspace w is the smallest subspace in the vector space subspace in u such that such that w is also w is also a vector space w is also the vector space that contains that contains the set of vectors that contains the set of vectors which are the vectors u1 u2 and so on that means smallest uh, subspace we choose as w in the vector space u vector space is capital u and uh, w is a smallest uh, subspace in the 
u, but that is also containing the set of vectors that is u1, u2, u3 up to un such that ui we consider that is 0 into u1 plus 0 into u2 plus so on plus of 0 into un. This clearly indicates that is 0 into u1. So, u must be u must be in the smallest subspace which is newly indicated as w dash. Okay. This clearly indicates w dash is closed under w dash is closed under scalar multiplication scalar multiplication. So, what is your conclusion then? W dash is also the smallest uh, W is the smallest subspace and W dash is also uh, accepting the scalar multiplication for these vectors. Therefore, the new symbol which we introduce for in, in place of W as w, w dash that is also closed under the scalar multiplication. Hence, that W is the smallest subspace in the given vector space that is called capital U. That is the conclusion of the second part of the theorem. This clearly indicates W is the smallest W is the smallest subspace in which vector W is the smallest subs subspace in U that is that is in capital U. Therefore, the theorem takes the uh, acceptance that W is the smallest subspace because it also accepts the vector addition and the scalar multiplication. Both the conditions are going to be hold good. Then we will say that that part also is considered as that is the scalar multiplication and vector addition both are going to be satisfied. Then we will conclude that uh, for the given vector space having the series of vectors that is u1, u2, u3, u4 and so on. Then uh, v becomes the vector space and w become the small subspace in the main vector space. That means capital V we choose, but in this theorem that is w is the uh, subspace. We define that uh, w is also closed under addition, vector addition and uh, scalar multiplication. Therefore, w is the subspace of this v and similarly w dash which we have taken as uh, for this uh, uh, linear combination multiplied by 0. W dash is also subspace in W. Therefore, W is a subspace in the main vector space that is V, but the set of vectors we considered like u1, u2, u3 that is for the representation of U. Therefore, the, all these symbols, all these symbols will define to be as the series of vectors where each vector will have numerical values in the problems. So, that how that theorem is going to be proved for these uh, selected values like uh, u1 is what, u2 is what, u3 is what, like uh, up to un is what, then we will take uh, uh, both the conditions to be satisfied as vector addition and the scalar multiplication. This is what uh, two basic conditions are to be satisfied to say that v is a vector space. Okay. So, with this I would like to stop up to here and then I shall continue in my next lecture the remaining topics. Thank you.